Hello there. Uh, yesterday, or late last night, one of the uh, Twitterers, uh, John Feeney, put a tweet on about his pump making noise, or his pump running in the middle of the night. Well, I've got back to him and asked them to phone their technical department. Now, as you know, if you've been watching over the last few months, I've had, uh, I wouldn't say a problem, but for me, my water pump's been a bit noisy. So, I phoned Whale up this afternoon, and they, uh, I spoke to a woman called Paula, who said that um, it could be that the diaphragms within my pump need cleaning. So she very kindly sent me a, um, a description or a breakdown of the pump, how to take it apart, and told me how to do it. So I've been up to the caravan and I brought the pump home. So I'm just gonna video taking it apart and see what I find. So this is the pump that I've got. It is a Smart Flow uh, UV0814 model number. It is about seven years old. Uh, I've also got, um, you can see there, the diagram of taking it apart basically. And I think the diaphragms are in this part here that we can clean. Um, I've got a brew, which is good. And I've got myself some some screwdrivers and spanners and bit well no just screwdriver bits so so the first thing to do let's still a little bit of water in there is turn the pump upside down and take these screws some screws I don't think you can see it in the bottom there there's four of those and to take those out I am anticipating some water coming out because obviously there's possibly still a little bit of water within the pump, although I've tried to empty most of it out. So, move that cable out of the way, and then this should pull towards me. Now, as you can see, that's obviously the pump, and these are the diaphragms. There's four of them within there and this bit is obviously the pump so we've got the bottom of the pump out and as we can see the diaphragm's out and in there you can see there's a screw now in order to lift this up we need to take this screw out so we're just gonna put a screwdriver in there and undo that that feels quite loose and then out pops the diaphragms. So you can see inside there there's a few more screws and then there's four diaphragms within there. So I think if we just clean all the pump out and then put it all back together, they are numbered and see what happens. If all else fails, buy a new pump. So we've got the five screws in place, so let's take this off really carefully here because obviously I don't know what's underneath here. There we go. Ah, now then. So we can see that that looks fairly clean but we'll clean it out but on the actual bottom base of it here you can see that it's full of muck and um, it looks quite disgusting that actually and that's there's a bit of a mark on this one here at the bottom but that is uh, a little bit manky so we're going to give that a wash and see how we go on I'm just going to take one of the diaphragms out just to show you what it looks like. These are quite stiff. So that's all the four screws out there, and this should lift off. Lift off! Oh, that's mega dirty. Right, so what I've done is I've just cleaned it with warm water, nothing else, um, and it does look a lot better. So what we're gonna do now is put it all back together. If I can remember how it's done. 
no um, so this sits on here like that cool so we put the this piece back on the rubber piece and that just sits on there push it all back into place and we put these screws back in they're the ones that have got uh, see that they've got a bit of a like a flat end on them so they go back into there and then this piece sits back on here like so so we've scrolls that back together and now this is going to really bring it tight together put these other screws back in I've not completely dried the diaphragms inside I've left some water in because I don't want them running uh, I don't want it being dry so that's all back together this bit that contains the diaphragms back into its housing which sits on there like that with the screw down the middle check that the diaphragms are still spinning and then if you notice on here it'll only fit one way there's like a on, on this section here there's a flat piece on the spindle which obviously fits onto this spindle here so we've got that back on and this is the uh, yeah, like the anti-shock cage there's rubbers that fit on there in order to make it uh, not vibrate as much so we're gonna put these on last job to do okay so that's the pump back together uh, I'm, it's quite late in the evening now so I'm not going to go and put it back in tonight I'm going to take it tomorrow uh, get some water and uh, we'll try the pump out Angela always says I'm impatient so I don't want to disappoint I have come straight up to the caravan it's about 10 to 6 in the evening I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the pump back in uh, I've brought an uh, aqua roll full of water we're going to charge the system up and see uh, how we go on this is where the pump's going what I've done I've just slightly changed something on the this Bailey Unicorn 2011 version there is another tank that you can normally there's a handle there you can switch it from your onboard tank to your aqua roll outside now what I've done I've bypassed that I've taken that pipe out and this is going to go directly now into the side of the pump these are all push fit fittings so we're going to get the pump in now the pump only goes one direction it's got a flow on it it tells you which way it goes so I've put it in the right position this is the surge damper on the back and it is push fit so just push that in and you can hear that's locked into position this is the water inlet push that in and that's locked into position put the surge damper back into place that rubber thing just fits over the top just to secure it in an, it's got to be in an upright position and then it just plugs in so what I'm gonna do first is uh, just turn around to the kitchen and I'm gonna open the hot water tap just a little bit and what that's gonna do is when I turn the pump on it'll push the air through or draw the air through and then I'm gonna go up to here my masters on I've got my uh, water outside and turn the pump on what I've done is I've cleaned around the pump to make sure it's really dry then I know if there's any water there I know that's from me and nothing else okay the water starts to come through now it's gonna run it until it's run smoothly which it's doing now let's do the bathroom hot cold let's see how noisy that is now now that is considerably quieter than what it was before so uh, I'm quite happy with that I'm gonna do something that I do at home if I've done any plumbing 
is I'm going to tie a piece of tissue around here or put a bit of, bit of tissue at the bottom then if that's wet at any point I know that it's leaking but so far it looks okay so what I've done as you can see is I've put the cushions back on because that's how it is and I'm just going to listen for the noise now to see how loud it is while the cushions are on because before believe me you could really hear it And I think that's a success because that's a lot quieter than what it was before. So I'm going to monitor that while we're away over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll give you an update, see how it's going on. Um, thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.